Hi, it's Andrew here from Enhanced Dimensions. Um, we're here today in the Botanic Gardens in Edinburgh, where I'm going to be experimenting with some of the Cyclopital 3D adapters. I'm going to show you the um, difference, uh, or I'm going to try and take some shots that are effectively identical, but show you what they look like with um, and without the adapters. So without any further ado, uh, here we go. Um, roll it. So here's the first shot um, of a sculpture in the uh, Botanic Gardens and in the background um, those of you who know Edinburgh you'll recognise the, uh, the castle off in the distance. So this is the shot taken just with the camera itself, we're zoomed right um, to as wide as we can go and we're pretty much um, converging on the sculpture. Now we'll flip over and take a look at it with the adapter on. So this shows the shot um, with the adapter on and um, leaving the zoom the same. Now as you'll see, one of the things that the adapter introduces is you need to actually zoom in so that you're not um, so you're not cropping the sides. So I'm going to zoom in now, but as you'll see, we're losing quite a bit of the image. If we get in probably to about there. So what I'm going to do is, you can see we've effectively had to crop the image, um, although we've obviously increased, we've increased the, the strength of the 3D quite a lot. Let's adjust the convergence back to that point. And you can see the kind of 3D that we're getting now with the adapter on. I'm going to move the position to try and recreate the shot. I'm going to move back a bit so that we can actually compare the two shots a little bit more, uh, a little bit more accurately by actually getting the same shot. So we moved the camera back to probably around 15 meters, which was round about uh, three times the distance that we had to try and create roughly that same shot. I'm not sure it's identical, but you can see roughly what we've got. Um, so. Let's compare this to the first shot without the adapter and uh, see what we think. So here's another shot um, with the cyclopital adapter still in place and um, we're just looking across to a building um, and some of the trees. Unfortunately we've got a bit of a grey sky here today in Edinburgh but you can see the effect of the of the 3D in a longer shot. So this is roughly the same shot, um, I've moved a lot closer physically um, without the adapter on. Here we are looking uh, another long shot, looking over to Arthur Seat, which is uh, an inactive volcano here in Edinburgh. Although we could do with a bit of warmth from it at the moment, um, but you can see the effect uh, of the cyclopital adapter on on a long shot and uh, giving a bit more depth. This is probably not quite the same shot. I have moved quite a bit forward and possibly to the side. But as you can see, um, there's Arthur's seat off in the background. It'll certainly be interesting to look on a, on a big screen and uh, see the difference um, between the shots from actually moving the camera as opposed to moving the uh, lenses wider apart and zooming in.
Thank <laughs> you.